Hello everyone, in this tutorial I want to show you a very simple way to create a text animation in scenes where you want to grab the viewer's attention to a very important word in your scene. As you can see, this animation easily grabs the attention and makes the scene look super dynamic, yet very balanced. I will also want to use this opportunity to tell you why I disappeared from social media for over 2 months. So with that said, let's get started. Alright, so in case you were wondering why I haven't uploaded any tutorials for over 2 months, it's because I've been working on my new course Transition Mastery. I wanted to create a course that will take my students to the next level and teach them how to create complex projects with multiple scenes. In the beginning, I wasn't sure about the topic of the course. I considered teaching explainer videos, product animations or animations for YouTube. And after a lot of planning, I realized that all these types of projects have one thing in common. And it's something that used to stop me from taking on big projects when I was a beginner. And that's the skill of transitioning between scenes. That's when I realized this is the skill that will give my students the confidence to approach complex projects with many scenes. So I put everything else aside and focus on creating a simple yet efficient way to teach the most common approaches to transitions in animation projects. And now I finally happy to announce that this course will go live on February 22. I still have a lot of work to do, but I promise this course will be worth it, especially if you are already watched my previous courses. My plan to help beginner motion designers reach an advanced level continues. I highly recommend you check out what you'll be able to create in the course at designandmotionschool.com. We can also join the waitlist to get an extra discount when it's released. For my Motion Bundle students, you'll receive an even larger discount on this course since you're the ones who truly care about advancing your careers. Alright, now that you know why I disappeared, let's get back to business and dive into this tutorial to practice some useful techniques for your next project. So, as always, let's start by creating our first composition, we can call it master comp and let's work on a full HD, a resolution, set the frame to 30 and the duration to 10 seconds. All right, and now we will start by creating uh, the stretch text animation. So for this, let's select the text tool and type some text. We can write animation. In this uh, tutorial, I'm using uh, the font called Poppins in bold, uh, but uh, this is not make any difference. You can use any font that you want. So in my case, I set it to the size to 100. And uh, the most important thing you need to do is to set uh, the direction from left to right, of course, and for the paragraph also uh, aligned it to the left. All right. This will affect the animation that's going to be like this, like uh, from from left to right. And if you want the animation to be from center, like the text, like spread from the center, you set it to centered the paragraph. In our case, we will set it to from left to right. All right, and now let's um, open the title action save grid so we can see what we're doing. And let's decide that this animation will start somewhere from here. You can align this uh, layer using the align tool like this and now to create this uh, stretch text animation it's very easy for this we will use a new and we will create a new animator with the tracking effect okay and now when we have the tracking effect as you can see we can uh, 
decide how the text will uh, be animated so let's set at the beginning of the animation let's make the text uh, be very very condensed like this let's say minus 60 in your case if you're using a different font that uh, the numbers can be uh, different a little bit so make sure um, to have your text like in this position now i'll create the new keyframe and then let's move one second forward and let's stretch this text let's say to 100 again in your situation if you are using a different uh, font or a different uh, font size the value can be uh, different than mine next let's go to second two and copy the first keyframe and paste it here to bring the text to its initial position now let's easy ease those uh, keyframes and go to the speed graph editor all right make sure you hit the speed graph and make the animation start very quick and uh, end very quick we can make it even uh, more quicker like this and for the comeback animation also make it quick and it should look like this great next let's uh, duplicate the text we have here all right and let's stand somewhere around here we can turn this off and now let's double click on this one and delete the rest of the letters let's select this letter and delete the and delete the animator with the tracking effect by selecting it and uh, press delete great now we can animate this layer but first let's center the anchor point and we can do it uh, by hovering over the anchor point tool and hold down control or command on mac and double click on it and now let's go back to the selection tool and uh, the most important thing is to make sure that uh, these two uh, letters the first letter is at the same position like our first text all right so in our case it's in at the same position so now we can create an animation for it so let's uh, go to second one and let's press p on this layer and decide that at second one the layer will be here now let's go back to the beginning of the animation and uh, bring this layer out to the left out of the scene while holding the shift key like this and now let's easy is the keyframes and go to the spin graph and make it uh, enter the scene slowly and then uh, reach to the final position very quick this should look like this let's check it out great and now to make it a, a little bit more interesting let's uh, press r and uh, at the beginning of the animation let's set the rotation to let's say minus 90 create keyframe then go to the second number one and bring back the rotation to zero we can also easy is those keyframes and we don't need to adjust the velocity let's see how that looks yeah so super simple and now we need to time the two animations we have here so as you already maybe figure it out we need to start the stretch text animation to start from this point in time when our letter reach this point and now at this exact moment we need to delete the rest of the layer to crop the first letter layer so let's crop it to the exact same point you can zoom in in the timeline to see it better great and uh, when the text goes back we can select it and press u to see where it starts we can crop this layer to this point in time so place here the time indicator and then hold a press on alt or option on mac and then the right 
bracket to crop it. Now let's duplicate this layer and let's bring it here. Okay. And press U, select the keyframe and reverse all the animation we have here. And let's see how that looks. Okay, so now it's uh, going back to the same position, but if you don't want it to go at the same position, uh, we can delete the last keyframe of the position and let's delete the rotation for now as well. And so let's say we want the text to go up and then down to make it a little bit more interesting. So let's stand at the middle of this animation and now drag the layer up like this and then go to the end of this animation and bring the layer down out of the frame like this and now let's make sure that the text start moving up uh, very fast so let's bring this handle here and then hovering in the air for a few seconds and go down super fast as well so we have something like this and again, to make it a little bit more interesting, we can create a rotation animation. So from this point in time, let's create a rotation keyframe with a value of zero. And then let's go to the end of this animation and rotate the layer. Let's say, let's see, let's say uh, to 180. Let's see how that looks. Yes, yeah, something like this. We can also is it the skill frames and now the animation look like this let's see what we got very cool and now to create a little bit more uh, impact to the scene we can uh, add a changing background and some ripple let me show you what i mean so make sure no layer is selected then long press the rectangle tool and select the ellipse tool. Now turn off the fill, the fill and turn on the stroke. Set the stroke to white for now. And for the width, let's set it to 20. Now let's hold down shift and create a nice uh, sphere here. Let's set the size to 400. And now let's align it to the comp for now and create the animation. So let's turn off the rest of the layers for now. And for this, we will create a super easy animation, simple one using the scale property. So at the beginning, it will be zero. And then after one second, it will be 100. And now let's uh, open the layer and reach the stroke of this shape and set the stroke width at this point in time to 20 and then go to one second and set it to zero now we can press u to see the all the keyframes easy is them and then make them pop super fast at the beginning like this let's see yeah great we can crop this layer to the end of it because we don't need it now let's turn back on all the layers and now we need to time this animation with the text we created so let's go back to the selection tool and you see if I select the text I can see where it where to place it so I can place it somewhere around here for now and now let's start this ripple effect uh, from the point in time where we have the transition happening so let's place it somewhere around here something like this and when it goes back let's duplicate this layer and again we can align it with the when the transition happening but I see the transition already happened so we can I don't know let's try to bring this a few frames forward 
even a little bit more so it's a timing thing yeah something like this great and now uh, let's finish the tutorial by adding uh, creating a new solid layer with the controller command y let's call it bg make sure it's a comp size and set it to be a uh, gray for now and now let's add a fill effect so we can easily change the colors here oh we'll make let's make the first background be black and then when the transition happening let's press ctrl or command shift d to split this layer and now this one let's color it in some other color in my case it's a blue color and then when the transition happening again let's set the color here to black and now let's place all these layers here and uh, stand here press n to check the animation and see if we everything looks okay yeah that looks very good and with this we have finished the tutorial thanks a lot for watching guys and i will see you in the next one